Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. We're going to take a look at example number 5 which has the problem statement given below. So this is quite similar to the concept of interlocking and uh, we have already uh, demonstrated it with a typical example over there. So I would uh, recommend you to pause this video at this point and try to draw this ladder diagram on your own and in case you don't get it, you can continue watching this video and trust me after watching this your concept will definitely be cleared with respect to this problem. Alright, let's get started. At the first place, they've given us uh, a statement uh, stating that design and draw the schematic for a conventional hardware circuit that will perform the following circuit functions using two brake make push buttons. So they're basically telling us there are two push button switches that are actually used and uh, this uh, schematic for a conventional hardware circuit is basically the ladder diagram that is required to be drawn. So they've given us the conditions turn on light L1 when push button PB1 is pressed, turn on light L2 when push button PB2 is pressed. Electrically interlock the push button so that L1 and L2 cannot both be turned on at the same time. So uh, that is there are two push buttons which is PB1 and PB2. When PB1 is pressed L1 should turn on which is basically a light. When PB2 is pressed L2 should turn on which is basically another light that is used. So one important concept here is if L1 is actually turned on L2 should not turn on or if L2 is turned on L1 should not turn on. That is what they are telling in electrically interlock the push button so that L1 and L2 cannot be turned on at the same time. So they don't want both the lights to be turned on simultaneously. This might be required in industries for a specific purpose so uh, as a whole we'll just look into the logic of how to draw the ladder diagram for this type of question so this is the ladder diagram uh, which is quite similar to the quiz problem that we saw with respect to the example in interlocking so over here if you carefully observe we have two push buttons which is pb1 pb2 and um, they are electrically interlocked by using normally closed contacts connected in this particular fashion pb1 over here pb1 uh, over here in the second rung with a normally closed contact this is a normally open contact so how do we uh, justify this is the light ladder diagram with respect to this question so let's do the analysis part with respect to this problem. Now one important thing to remember is the ones that are indicated in green that means the contact is actually energized because these are normally closed contact isn't it so they will be acting as short circuit before they are energized and once they are energized they will act as open circuit so now initially they are not energized but uh, these are acting as short circuits because these are normally closed contact now when I press the push button switch PB1 in this particular fashion PB1 will be energized isn't it so consequently this when it is energized PB1 the same address is used here as well so this will be de-energized and it will act as open circuit and it is indicated in red so these two contacts are now energized what happens is the entire rung will get energized and uh, current starts flowing through the load and the light get energized in this particular fashion so the light starts glowing uh, which is L1 in this case now even if you press the push button switch PB2 what happens this is acting as open circuit so L2 will not glow irrespective of the operation of PB2 so this is for the operation of PB1 now let us consider another example if I initially press PB2 what happens this will actually get turned on and uh, this will get de-energized because this is a normally closed contact which was acting as short circuit before and because of its energization it becomes uh, any open circuit so we are using the same addresses over here and here normally the addresses will be indicated as I.2 slash O depending upon the type of PLC controller that you are using but as a whole I am using names just for easier to understand these type of concepts so now once this is done if you carefully observe both the contacts are turned on so the entire rung will be energized current starts flowing from the source to the load and uh, the light L2 will actually turn on in this case so even if you press PB1 now this is acting as open circuit so the state will not change as a result L1 will not turn on as a whole if you see in both the examples of L1 and L2 lights turning on so only one light was turned on at a time irrespective of the push button operations so this is how we will electrically interlock the push button switch and this concept is called as interlocking so I hope this concept is clear uh, I would recommend you to uh, solve this problem on your own uh, uh, in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates 